good day students when we look at this spreadsheet it is going to be changing according to the instructions which we find in section b of the question paper that i'm going to show now and question four so when we look at this question paper here it says use microsoft excel to calc to create a spreadsheet with the information provided on the next page so the spreadsheet that we are going to create you can see it there on the right hand side which is next page but we are told that we are not supposed to key in the row and column headings which is the shaded areas so as you see there on the spreadsheet we have a b c d and one two three four as rows a b c d as column headings so those are just indications that when you create a spreadsheet here you are not supposed to type them again because already you have you find them as part of microsoft excel layout so what we have to create is the information that i've created or typed here so you will just type as you see according to the question paper that i just displayed a few seconds ago so now when we look at this question paper there are many instructions that we have to follow here and then i'm going to go through them quickly as i'm doing this question and then this spreadsheet that you see here will be changing according to the instructions that i'll be doing at that time so now everything that i typed i created according to the spreadsheet that was supposed to be created then after that i have to follow the instructions to make sure that i don't lose all these marks according to how they are going to mark question four so when you are preparing for examination you need to make sure that everything that you do you can use a pencil to tick all the questions that you have done to see that you are actually uh, going to get those marks or you have done something that is allocated for for those marks so you don't just create the spreadsheet and leave it but make sure that all these instructions you do them so that you don't lose all these marks that are allocated here right so now this spreadsheet i'm just going to make sure that i insert the header with the question four center and my examination number on the right hand side so according to the instructions i have to go and insert so i'm clicking insert there so it is going to be the header you will see when i click here like i did now it is opening the header section so the header section that i have here i'm just going to use the center which is where the cursor is blinking now and then it will be question four and then on the right hand side it's examination number this is where you type your own id number so you type your actual id number okay that is how you will do it because the instruction was saying this is very important the instruction is saying insert a header with question four center and your examination number right aligned so don't ever leave this in an examination because when you print something without an examination number which is your id number then it does not belong to you anyway there are marks allocated to this question right so now as we continue the next question here or the next thing that i have to do so that i get the marks is when i have to change the font to bell mt and then font size 12 so it means everything here must be bell mt and font size 12. so what i have to do now because i still see my header section open i can make sure i can just go and make sure that i have the view layout I open the view layout and change it to normal when you click view there see I can click normal and then now I'm back to my original spreadsheet without having the header breaking my page okay 
so obviously when you are going to change it to the font that you are given and the size you will go to home make sure that you can change the font size or the font type there so i'm just going to make it bell mt then i will scroll until i find bell mt but now if i choose this it means it will be uh, applied to all the things that i'm going to type so remember you cannot just rush to go and change the font type before you highlight so you highlight first you go now and change it to the font that you are given in this case is bell mt and then font size 12 so this is the font that we are supposed to change to and then key in the information accurately so that is what we are told to do according to the instructions here it says key in the information accurately use spell check to correct any spelling errors merge and center the heading in row one from column a to e so in row one we have to merge and center from column a to e so when i go now to the spreadsheet row one column a to e highlighting it like that i will go and merge and center when i click here you will see that it will move to be at the center so you have to make sure you have highlighted up until that column which is specified then click what i where i've clicked now so this is already meshed and it's already centered now when we look at the instruction here number six says edit the main heading to appear in uppercase arial and then size 14 so it's going to be arial empty rounded bold and then size 14 okay so i'm going to change that heading to aerial rounded empty bold and change it to size 14 only that heading for now number seven when we look at it it says it display column headings in row four and five in the position indicated match cell where where necessary so row four and five should be matched so when i look at my spreadsheet and then i check here row four and five when i click here in age groups you can see they are matched so because i clicked here so i combined the two rows four and five i highlighted them then i click there then they are matched so same as when you see that here anticipated if i can adjust a little bit anticipated increase row four and five they are matched so that's why now anticipated percentage increase it appears in two rows as we see there so now the next question on our question paper here it says center align and bold all column headings okay so we are going to go to our column headings all of them center and bold so i make them bold now and then i will make them to appear at the center okay there so now they are at the center so after doing that make sure that everything is visible so it means you will need to adjust some of your columns to make sure that no information is cutting amongst your your spreadsheet so then you just make sure that they are centered there so now when we look at our next question again here it says insert horizontal and vertical lines as indicated so we have all vertical and horizontal lines across all our spreadsheet area except the headings where the headings are okay so i'm just going to go there the quickest way to do it is to highlight all your work there then because you saw that the uh, vertical and horizontal lines are across all the work that you have typed then you can go here on the font group where you see this arrow here just after underline there where you find borders click the drop down 
go and choose all borders so you will see it will draw according to where you had to type if something is matched it will leave it out because now it's acting as one cell like here and here you see so now this looks almost the same as this work just that now our spreadsheet has been edited and the font is now different right so now when we look at our question again question paper says adjust the column width to ensure that all details in the spreadsheet are visible so this you will always find in an exam because if you print without your information being clear you will be penalized a lot of marks make sure that nothing is cutting for instance we find that column a your column a is still cutting some of the information you can go between a and b adjust you see most mostly the headings are the ones that uh, cuts uh, uh, you find that they are cutting somewhere they are not showing clearly so you can make sure that you adjust all your information by dragging going between your column headings like i'm doing now and making sure that everything is visible so that you don't lose any marks that you are supposed to get during my key so now you are supposed to save the spreadsheet as question 4 according to your college's examination regulations so we save in my documents in your exam you will also save in the documents folder but you know the most important thing is when we look at this question that says preview and print because when you print in an exam that is when you'll be able to and in your work at the end of the session so preview and print question 4 without row and column headings so remember in the beginning we spoke about row and column headings being a b c d one two three four this shaded area so when we go to our spreadsheet here if i'm going to change the i mean if i'm going to print this firstly i make sure that i go to page layout orientation landscape so we are supposed to change this to landscape uh, because we don't have to print it in more than one page it has to be in one page so now when you go to file and clicking print you have to see it first that's what they mean when they say preview your spreadsheet and print it so if it is not showing the whole spreadsheet complete on this page it means that it was not enough it was the page was not enough for it to fit so you had to adjust or make it landscape so that everything will be visible so this is how you will receive your printout it means you will receive marks for this header where you we started the heading at the center examination number on the right the heading that we have inserted is there with the font you can see that all my lines are now showing but now when we looked at that question there it says preview and print question for without row and column headings on one portrait page okay so now this one they want it on one portrait page without row and column headings so when you go back to your spreadsheet this is landscape you will lose marks for landscape so i will go back with this arrow and change layout orientation landscape okay so after making it landscape now you will see this small dashed line it shows that my printout will cut here so i have to make sure that it doesn't cut but feeds on on this page so i will adjust this column a little bit so that my spreadsheet is not going to cut okay so i will just make sure that everything will just be visible as i'm adjusting a little bit some other columns like this 2016 was too wide you see as i'm adjusting so adjusting columns is very important so now you see i've adjusted but my information is still visible so don't just adjust quickly you have to be sensitive to ensure that you don't cut anything you see so you you cannot adjust in the middle of your work like this you have to go in your row and column headings that is what we use them for 
and between the letters when the arrow is pointing left and right like this you adjust like hold with a mouse button and drag to either left or right according to how you want to adjust so i'm decreasing the size but i cannot decrease any further because it's going to cut registrations so i will have to increase a little bit here like this and a little bit again so now you see that it's visible so that small grade dashed line as you see it there it will in is indicating that my printout will end here okay now let's prove it when you go to file now and clicking print you will see that now the preview is now in landscape no this is portrait all right not landscape portrait is no longer in landscape and all the information that i created is now visible there nothing is cutting okay so now it's clear everything will show when i print okay so now remember the instruction was saying without row and column headings so without row and column headings it means when you go to layout you will go to sheet here under page setup you click there to launch the group and then you go to sheet there after clicking sheet you will see row and column headings here so if it's not ticked like this if there's no tick it means they won't print out so let me put a tick to show you what was going to happen when i click ok and i go to file print you will see now a b c d e one two three four they are showing because it's part of the spreadsheet when i go back a little bit page layout page setup group click there when i click sheet and remove the tick when i click ok now if i go to file and print you will see that the row and column headings are not showing there right. so now that is how we start so i will just save this as question four okay i will save this save as then i will save it as question four so let me choose the folder where i'm saving this work i'm saving it here and then i will have to choose or write the file name that i have to allocate to this file question four so when i click save it is saved then in the exam you will go to file because saving alone is not what you have to do you also have to print because it's more that is the most important one then you click this big button print then it will be printed during the time when you're writing an exam then you continue to the next question so this is part one i'm going to be showing you the next question which is going to be our question five where we do changes to the spreadsheet as you see here it says open the spreadsheet save this question four then we are going to do all the other things including the calculations that we have to do and 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 all the other things to make this spreadsheet change and all the things that are missing to be filled in because we are going to calculate and more so watch the next part of this video as you are going to be learning on how to tackle question five thank you for watching this part Thank you.